Hello, beautiful people, and thank you for joining me today for the, my weekly Animal Wisdom Oracle reading. After shuffling and cutting the cards, I drew a very appropriate one for the w end of winter, which is wolf. We'd really like winter to be over, but it is still with us. And um, the Celtic people considered fe both January and February, February to be uh, months of the wolf because the wolves were hungry and roaming about howling at night. So wolf it has got a lot of wisdom for us. Wolf is a protector. Wolf is loyal and a very, very strong community member. Uh, wolf also indicates wildness and freedom, death and rebirth. Now, we all know that a lot of people don't like wolves, in particular ranchers, and we're scared of them, but they're really quite wonderful animals. Wolves um, live within a very hierarchical social structure. They know their place and they stay within it. There is a little bit of room for movement, but not that much. And even though we all think about the lone wolf, it is really rare. Wolves do not want to live alone. And if they are um, sort of exiled from their pack, they're going to really try and form another pack. They work best together, and they are very, very loyal and committed to their, to their pack members. So here is the guidebook that comes with my Animal Wisdom Oracle deck. And I'll just uh, look up Wolf and let you know a little bit of what it has to say. So um, the, the wisdom that Wolf has to offer us, Wolf tells you to trust your intuition and also teaches discernment, giving you the ability to see the truth, truth and trustworthiness of situations and people. Wolf also reminds you of the importance of community and, um, and loyal companions. We all in America, we're very into individualism and individualism is great, but we need each other and it is important to remember that and to remember to honor your community. So if this card comes up for you, it might be reminding you to um, not, get too, not get too much into the me meanness of everything, but to also remember your community and your family and make decisions that are for the benefit of all. Um, and let's see, Wolf also reminds you to trust your own natural instincts, and Wolf will protect and guide you through your vulnerable times. Wolf affirms the call of the wild, which still echoes in you, and Wolf guides you to your own untamed destiny. And Wolf also reminds us that chaos and darkness are part of life. Wolf teaches about the mysteries of nature, the cycles of death, and the cycles of death and rebirth. And there's some really interesting wolf facts, uh, wolf myth and legends from all around the world. There's one story in particular that I learned, and a lot of these I retell in this in my in the guidebook to the Animal Wisdom Oracle. But one that I really liked a lot comes from the Pawnee of North America, and it's part of their creation story. And in their creation story, um, before Earth even existed, there was a council of stars. And Sirius, which they called the Wolf Star, was not invited to this council. And um, so this made Sirius pretty angry, felt like, well, why am I being left out? And so Wolf sent a, a wolf, the Wolf Star, Sirius, sent a wolf to steal the bag which contained the human beings that were going to exist on this earth. And so Wolf went and did that, but the people escaped and they killed Wolf. And Wolf was the first being to die and bring death into the world. 
And then another interesting, really interesting thing is for the Celts, they also saw this aspect of death with, um, with Wolf. But they, the Celts, well, they were very strong believers in reincarnation. And so they didn't really fear death. They saw it as part of the cycle, and they saw Wolf as a companion that could walk with you and help you and protect you in life and protect you in the passage through death to then the next life. And so Wolf is associated with many of their their fierce goddesses, uh, such as the war goddess Morrigan, who was a harbinger of death, and she could shapeshift into Wolf or Raven. So that's just a little bit about Wolf for today. And just let Wolf's wisdom resonate for you, remind you of your own instincts, your own wildness, and your own commitment to community, family, and protecting the good for all. Thank you, and I will see you next time.